Hey, everybody. Uh, happy Saturday to you. Uh, if you're watching this on Saturday, if you're watching this later, uh, today, well, as I'm filming this, it's Saturday. If you're watching this in the far-flung future, um, hope the ants are being nice to you. Uh, so uh, it's time to listen to a record and fold some laundry. Uh, this week I've chosen uh, an organ record. There was a time when uh, when people could, like, you could be a single instrument player and put out multiple albums. Uh, it could be, you know, Zamfir, the pan flute, of course, is is one of the examples. Uh, you could uh, uh, you could play the bongos. I have an album called Bongo, Bongo, Bongo. Um, <clears throat> harmonica, ukulele, um, and the organ. Uh, now, one of the, I think one of the most uh, famous ones, perhaps, is Lenny D. Uh, D E E, and we're gonna actually just start the record here. Uh, and Lenny D, his hook was this album, of course, is called D Most, uh, and uh, it, you'll hear they all have a certain sameness to them. There's another guy you should probably Google, Woody Martin's. Some of it is out there uh, available for. It's like the banjo. It's hard to feel bad when you're hearing an organ. Like a fun organ, not a church organ. I get the feeling a lot of organ players were really trying to reclaim the organ as a fun instrument. Um, there used to be, like in the mall, you would, you, there would be a guy or a gal uh, playing the organ in front of the music store to try to sell people the, um, you know, like an organ. One of those home things with the multiple... They would, and they would just, they, and they would be playing, and you'd walk by, and oh, look, there's somebody playing the organ. That was back when, if you're watching in the far flung future, used to be things called malls where people would go look at merchandise uh, rather than relying on other people's opinions of the merchandise. They would actually go and look at the merchandise themselves and uh, pay for it. Sometimes with actual paper money rather than, uh, you know, the mark of the beast or whatever you're using now. Uh, anyway, this one is called Demos. Uh, a quick, a uh, a quick description here, because um, this is also still from that same era of uh, of albums where there had to be a little persuasive essay uh, on the back. This song, by the way, is called Jumpin' on the Organ. Uh, it's actually a co uh, co uh, a, a composition of Lenny D's along with uh, someone named Bob Ty T Y E. It's a hi-fi. Oh, it's, it's right. It's hi-fi hi organ. Uh, hi-fi organ solos with the beat. Um, the previous albums by Lenny D have been appropriately, if punningly, entitled "Delightful," "Delirious," "Delicious," and now, as a natural climax. The most. Uh, so this is the fourth album by Lenny D. Here again is another proof that Lenny D can do anything he likes with the organ. Wow, phrasing. Uh, he can make it croon and cry, pulse and pound, swing and sway, murmur and sigh, yodel for joy, jump and shout with wild excitement. Never has the organ responded to such a wide range of surprises. Although Lenny D is an expert at the organ, he did not begin as an organist. At seven, he played the banjo. A little later, he performed on the piano accordion. That apparently is the thing. It was not until he got out of the Navy that he enrolled at the Conservatory of Chicago. There, on a GI Bill, he took his first lessons at the organ. That's what the GI Bill was really designed for, right? Suddenly, he knew that he had found his true instrument. He began to appear professionally and soon was booked at some of the most prominent hotels in the South. His reputation spread rapidly. He was heard on a weekly network. He played an engagement at Nashville's Plantation Club. He signed a contract with Decca Records, which gave him national publicity. This reads like my bio. Uh, in these recordings, Lenny D plays several of his most requested numbers and plays them in a manner which is different from any other performers. His style is distinctly his own, one which merits the, def the definite title, D Most. I assume probably D Last. Uh, this album cover, by the way, is straight up nuts. Uh, 
I think he's dressed like a conductor, or perhaps Louis from Casablanca. Uh, he's wearing oversized, uh, almost like like uh, goalkeeper gloves, or well, you know, Mickey Mouse gloves. There is this little line here. This is not some kid, as far as I know. This was actually th this little uh, this little purple thing here, and I'll, I'll post scans of, or not scans, but because uh, they have yet to build a scanner that's the right size for me, um, uh, of the cover. But there's this little swirly thing, and it looks like somebody took a pen, right? Uh, which happens sometimes. Some kid writes something, uh, uh, and but no, that's actually part of the design. Oh, that was Avalon, by the way. Uh, I have no clue. All right, time to fold some clothes. This is uh, Somebody Stole My Gal. Does anybody even put out, like, instrument-based albums anymore? Is that a thing? Respond in the comments. I'll see it afterwards, but... Also, by the way, the, the, all, of these, all of these lives are public, hint, hint, so feel free to share them if you think anybody else would be interested in this weird... Uh, friend of mine, Michael Dane, uh, who probably won't see this till later because he's on uh, Pacific time, uh, uh, said it was uh, minimalist, Dada-esque, uh, I should be able to get a grant. I just like listening to records and I have to fold laundry. Uh, I'm not on stage as often as I'd like, uh, but about as much as I can. And um, this is just a way for me to do something. I will be performing uh, in Lacrosse, by the way, uh, next Friday, Friday the 2nd, at Piggy's downtown. Oddly enough, a place called Piggy's uh, is the classiest venue I think Lacrosse La Cros has ever had for comedy. I think. not the Batman theme. Oh, this is, I believe, uh, if this is the fourth one, this is Hot Foot Boogie, another Lenny D uh, composition, this time with Len Joy. He only works with people, by the way, whose albums could also have puns on them, uh, uh, on their names. Like, Enjoy yourself with Len. <laughs> but I assume uh, I don't have the technical knowledge. Uh, on, on, on thing about musical instruments necessarily. For example, I had no idea there was a pan, piano accordion. Uh, but I don't know what the difference, I suppose, well, I mean, hi-fi organ is probably like a Hammond or a little portable, uh, not portable, but, you know, not a pipe organ, not a big church organ. I 
wouldn't mind having four albums of this. Hell, I think I, I think I have three Woody Martin's albums. I have another swing. In. Those aren't even vinyl. Those are downloaded. By the way, who was the first person who came up with that? Da 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 da. Wah wah. If they're still alive, they must have been thinking about all those years you couldn't sing "Happy Birthday." Uh, it was like, oh, why didn't I? What's this one about? It's Josephine. Uh, Super Bowl week started yesterday here in Minneapolis. Uh, basically, it's it's so much more extensive than it was the last time in 1999. Minneapolis hosted the uh, the Super Bowl. A friend of mine commented that they performed <laughs> in a tent outside the the dome like day of, and there was no problem. It was really just a big football game. Now it's a 10-day extravaganza. Nicollet Mall is all closed off. They finally got it done just in the nick of time, only to make it so nobody can really use it. Most locals have been looking to the Super Bowl with 10% anticipation and 90% dread. I guess 10% seething rage too. That's 110%. That's what Midwesters, Midwesterners give. <laughs> If somebody came into this like in the middle, they're probably going, well, this music is playing. Why isn't he juggling the laundry? Why isn't there broad physical comedy involved in this? Some sort of a Louis, Jerry Lewis-esque. It is on wheels. Jerry Lewis could get like five minutes of middling comedy out of that. All right. This one. Is this one Josephine or are we already on the last track? Well, we'll know. There's also, there's always that fill. Uh, we just came up with that ba 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 That's in, like, in every hi-fi organ tune. Almost as if the organ has to constantly, you know, be playing something or it stops. It's like a sharp. There's one thing an organist. Uh, low, this apparently is silence.
And you also have to wonder if Lenny D spent some time outside a music store playing the organ. Wouldn't have been in the mall since this was... Oh, I don't know what year this was. It's probably on the... Uh... That was the last track. Well, uh, that was Way Down Yonder in New Orleans, which makes sense now that I've heard... Now that I'm saying, way down yonder in New Orleans. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, that was that was really short. Um, having so much fun with you guys. All right, everybody. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Uh, once more, that was uh, Lenny D. D. Most. Uh, I don't, surprisingly, I, this is the only Lenny D. album I, I uh, own. Uh, anybody has one they want to get rid of, uh, well, just give it to me. I'm not going to buy a Lenny D album from you. Uh, but I'd like to see it. Take a picture. Um, until next week. Uh, and next week, here's a little uh, little preview. Yep. All right. Now, uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks very much. Bye.